go. So Tom Brady and the Buck got molly whopped by Brock Purdy and the 49ers, my squad. And yes, I said molly whopped. And Skip got real disrespectful towards Shannon Sharp for calling out the obvious that Tom Brady ain't been playing well. I'm, I'm going to let you see what he said. Are they going to be in the playoffs? Help me out. Yeah. I need you to That's sit. your argument. Okay, that's I need your you. argument. What do you mean that's my argument? Your argument is that they're going to be in the playoffs. Is Tom Brady playing bad? Okay. Yes or yes. no? Yes, he played poorly yesterday. What do you mean was, yesterday? Okay, oh, yeah. But you're giving him 100% I of did. the blame? I did. Because you had they well, that, That's questions. just, you, you have no objectivity. It's just straight Brady still, hate. Still. Wait, wait, wait a minute. This is just straight hate by a guy who's jealous that he's still playing at a high level at 45 when you had to stop at 35. As you said, she, Shannon Sharp is a Hall of Famer and a three-time Super Bowl champion. Ain't he jealous? But, but this is just the tip of the iceberg of the disrespect. But come on. That's what you That's do. the point. That's what you do. Every time somebody, every time I call something into question, I'm jealous. No. Skip, I did well, what I did. I never did. said you were jealous of Baker Mayfield. Skip, I did what I did. You make it seem like I was a bum. I'm in the effing Hall of Fame. Okay, I so got three what? Super Bowls. So what? So what? He's way better than you were. I'm better way than you. Better. Skip, what are you doing? See what you do? You take personal shots. No, when you, for I, don't, I don't take personal shots. How did he start it, Skip, by saying that Tom Brady ain't playing well this year? That's obvious. I like Tom Brady too, but come on, that's obvious. And then you're going to take cheap shots like this. Oh, he's way better than you all this. Come on. They're like, you in the Hall of Fame, so what? Like, you would take a personal shot at me. I so didn't take a personal shot at you. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? You would take a personal shot. Put your glasses back on. Can I finish? Now, this right here, when Shannon took them glasses off, you know he was serious. And for Skip to say, put your glasses back on, like, Skip, like, don't get me confused. I'll come across the table at you. I really will. And I believe Shannon really will. Like, don't, don't do that, Skip. You're willing to take a personal shot at me to say this man is better than me because I say he's playing bad this year? Well, because you 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 just Go ahead. you disrespect him. It's it's just so. It, so you just you know what? It's beneath your you dignity. You disrespect me to no. support him. No, well I'll, I'll support him over anybody because he's the greatest player who ever have played your it. game, and it's by have far. It. Have it. Okay, take off, I'm going to have at it because I'm going to have at you because what happened yesterday? The Bucks' defense was horrendous yesterday. This is one of them teachable moments in life where you thought you had a friend and you realize in real time that you really don't. And Dreamers Pro made a, a great point when he said that Skip views Shannon as a co-worker that he's friendly to. Shannon views Skip as a friend that he works with. It's two separate things. And, and, and when he was about to make this point out, I, I knew exactly where he was going with it. Every time before the show, they may crack a joke and get the icebreaker going to start the show or whatever. And Shannon extends his hand to fist bump Skip. And Skip has never extended his hand to bump Shannon first. You know, he, he they, they do the fist bump, but he's never been the first to extend the olive branch. And I've noticed this, but I've never pointed it out. But Dreamers Pro pointed it out and he was exactly right in this manner. And you can see that all of that comes out in this conversation here. Because listen, Shannon Sharp, if some of y'all don't know, was a beast in this game. Him and his brother, Sterling Sharp. But Shannon Sharp, three-time a uh, Super Bowl winner, Hall of Famer, and every season he talked like he talked because he could back it up. And for you, Skip, to go so listen, I love Tom Brady too. But don't get me started on the goat conversation. But I love Tom Brady too. But Tom, when you know when you ain't playing good, you ain't playing good. And the Bucks ain't looking good right now. But for you to go so low as to stoop this low and and disrespect. Shannon Sharp by saying something like this, calling talking about he jealous and it, it it just it was hard to watch, man. It was hard to watch, and, and I lost about all respect for Skip Bayless on this. This looks like it could be the beginning of the end because it's hard to let somebody look you in your face and disrespect you like that, and then still come and sit and smile with them. You know what I'm saying? It's it's real hard to do. Now, for the reasons of coming to work and getting the money, then you may be able to do it. But even in those cases, it, it, it may be just better for your sanity to be like, I'm, I'm moving on. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I don't need this money. All money ain't good money. You know what I'm saying? Because this was on that level of disrespect. And, and even if it doesn't happen immediately today, it's always going to be in Shannon's mind until, you know what I'm saying, until he decides to move on or if he decides to move on. Now, sometimes this stuff happens between friends and or, or where well, you can't even say his friend because you, we can see here it's not they're not friends. But sometimes this stuff happens and you can move past it. But sometimes you have to realize it is what it is. 
They are who they are. They view you a certain way. That's how they're going to continue to view you. And maybe it's good for your sanity to not be around that situation. You know what I'm saying? Because if you keep trying to make it what it ain't, you keep trying to make them into a friend and they aren't, it, it, it's never going to materialize. And you're just going to be sit there wondering, well, why they won't treat me like I treat them? You know what I'm saying? And that's that's not, not a good place to be in. You know, this was disrespectful on the level. Like, it reminded me of the Corey Holcomb situation with Zoe Williams, where Corey taught, and, and listen, Corey is up there as far as wanting to stand up greats, I believe. Like when, when Corey, Corey rips it down. And I give him his props for that. But Corey showed himself between him and Zoe Williams, who I, I thought were friends, and they thought were friends. Zoe thought he was friends with Corey. Corey said some real disrespectful stuff to Zoe. I mean, you a PI and I keep you around for little reasons that, like, you know, and you you would never think a friend would talk to you like this. And when but when it bubbles over and comes out like that. And as you can see now, they, I mean, they've tried to heal the situation, this, that, and other, but they're not around each other like that. And, and, and I think they to, they to a place where they don't speak on each other no more like that and, and talk it up. But when you're in a situation like that, like I lost all respect for Corey, no, like watching him say what he said, it's all like, it was just crazy. And you have to separate yourself from people like that sometimes. Like I, I, don't, I don't watch the show no more. I used to watch it, but I don't, I don't watch it no more. I might watch a clip or something here and there that other people post just to keep up with current events because, you know, for the show, it might be something I have to talk about. But other than that, it's just like watching that go down like that. It's so disrespectful. It just makes you not want to. And listen, I'm, I'm not saying that we ain't all human, that we can't succumb to this. You know what I'm saying? Because me, myself, it's something I battle. I fight with having these kind of situations like this and these kind of, and, 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 and man, it, it took everything in me watching that <laughs> to not throw my phone across the, because <laughs> I don't know how Shannon really just shut the engines down and was like, all right, bro, you, you would disrespect me and, and say that to me to, to defend Tom Brady and then skip the double down. On, okay, go ahead. You got it. Go ahead. Because see, for me, my, my, my bad habit, when somebody disrespect, see, I'll be noticing a little disrespect here and there, a little small stuff. And I, I may not say nothing off, you know, off the rip about it. But then when something like this happen and it just bubble over and they show you flat out who they is, it, man, it, 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 it would have took everything in me to not go there. Because when I when I get to that point, oh, you want to go? Let's go. Come on. Let's let's go to the promised land. We, I promise you we about to go there today. You know what I'm saying? And then I get to a place where I start overdoing it and I start saying too much and going overboard to where I'm right in doing so, or I believe I'm right in doing so, but even I get cringeworthy. Whereas if I was to think about it the next day or rewatch what I said the next day or something like that, I, it's like, yeah, dog, you might've been right, but you, you went over and above in your cringe now, now you now you look kind of like Skip look. Yeah, now you looking kind of cringeworthy because you done went too far in defending yourself in this case. And I'm gonna pray that God give me the strength to do what Shannon Sharp did here and shut the engines down when I feel disrespected like this because I, like it, it's, it goes to another place. It goes to another place, and we all have trouble with this. But I'm going to just ask y'all, pray for me, man. Pray for me. It's a, it's a habit. It's like somebody having a, a, an addiction. It's, it's a habit. First of all, I like to debate. But then debates can turn into arguments. And then they can get ugly like this. And when they get ugly like this, I am not known <laughs> to have the strength to restrain myself. And where are we going with this now? Because now, now I'm feeling like I've been disrespected or this, that, and other. And then I may, in turn, disrespect other people and go too far. And I'm saying, man, if, if it's you, if this you, I know I got people that had an argument. I'm sorry, man. If I if I you know had a cringeworthy moment, because watching this make you just be like it's hard to watch. We got to get better with this, man. But I'm just saying back to the topic. It's like this was totally egregious, Skip. Like. And I say this, this may be the beginning of the end.
because I don't believe that this will leave Shannon Sharp's mind. Now, maybe he will stay and, 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 and just suppress it to, to work it out, to get this, keep getting this money. And I, and I, and I, it's, I'm in a play, I'm in a weird place because I, I really want the show. This is the best show to me for I mean, pretty much I mean, because of Shannon Sharp. But now Skip has his banter and the, the differences between the two, what keep me watching. But Shannon Sharp is the star of that show. I mean, to me, he's the best in the game over everybody as far as debating in sports and this, that, and the other. Now, on Undisputed, they they kind of cover a lot of the same topic over and over again. And so it kind of gets stale with that a little bit. But, I mean, Shannon is the, the best in the game to me. And I enjoy their show. But if they were to move on, let's just say I'm not going to be tuning in to what Skip doing. I mean, I'm I'm good on Skip, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but you tell me what you think, man. It's your boy P. Cam. You think Skip was wrong? This was over the line? Like, what you think, man? Let your boy know. Get at your boy.